Hello my lovely witches. This is an entirely impromptu video um, and I hope you enjoy it. It's a little bit of a art witch materials haul I suppose and I do this because I received a very very exciting package just now um, and I thought I would open it with you but first of all I will show you some of the other items that I have purchased recently just in the last sort of two months or so um, from various uh, YouTubers and one item from Amazon. So I'll start with the uh, the item from Amazon because it's also just arrived today and that is this book, the Harry Potter World of Stickers book, which I am super excited about and I haven't even opened yet. So I mean you know, you know how obsessed I am with Harry Potter so I'm not going to do a full flip through page by page, but I will take you through a bit of a flick through some of the, uh, oh my God, these are so cool. Some of these stickers. Oh, wow. Lots of house stickers, I know. Oh, that's cool. I like the fact that they do them on matte and shiny. That's also cool. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm such a child. And you know what? That is cool. I I am very in touch with my inner child and I am just beyond smiling at this point. This is so pretty. I can't wait to use these. You'll probably see some in my books of shadows. Um, you'll definitely see some if I ever do another flip through of my little uh, Harry Potter divination bibliomancy book because I'll chuck a whole lot more in there. Ah, they're so cute. Awesome. So, yep, yeah, that was just from Amazon. I'm only sharing it. Ah, monster book of monsters. Um, I'm only sharing it because it has just literally arrived just now. So if you're a Harry Potter fan, it's awesome. <laughs> so the other things I'm going to show you are actually all art journaling paper packs or ephemera packs the first one i'm going to show you i will be honest the these three little bundles that i purchased from an artist called mixie she also goes by pen gregory and her her art is incredible i just love it it is so intuitive and so free and so gorgeous and so colorful her um, sketchbook tours just give me life. Um, so I will link her channel down below. Um, but I have dug into these quite significantly. They're very reasonably priced. Um, I mean, unless you're Australian and you have to deal with uh, exchange rates and stuff. But don't worry about that. If you're in the UK, uh, which is where she's based, these are only £5 for a pack. And they're just beautiful little snippets. As I said, I've actually used some of these. So please bear that in mind when we have a little flip through them um, but these little snippets the problem I have with most of them is that they're double-sided and it's like how do I decide which side I use um, that is see <laughs> how do you decide it's too hard uh, so they're just little tiny fragments of gorgeousness um, and I have been using them a lot in my book of shadows lately um, particularly as sort of um, title headings, I suppose, is what I'm what I'm using them a lot for. So you know, I'll put the title of a ritual or a spell or a full moon or something on one of these divine scraps and stick it down. So I purchased three of these. They're five pounds each, plus shipping, I think. Oh, look, this is so cute. But how do you decide? Um, and yeah, I'm just in love and I will probably use them some more in some sort of more art journal stuff as well. Some sort of, I do a little bit of collage work that's more intuitive art than witchy. See, how do you decide which side to use? It's too hard. So these are just stunning. Um, they were bigger than they are now because I've used so many beautiful pieces of them. Which is grouped them into colours. 
color themes. They're so pretty. So pretty. See, again, like I can't decide which side I like better. So pretty. And also gives me a lot of ideas for uh, creating sort of collage fodder and ephemera for myself as well. These are the little tags. This was Mermaid and Peacocks was the name of the, the kit. They've all got pretty names. I think the one that I looked at first with you was uh, something to do with jumping into spring. It was all very spring colours. Um, and then there's this one, which is all pinks and purples and reds. Magenta and berries. Made by Mixie.com. That's her website. Check it out. She's got some gorgeous stuff. Um, and check out her, her flip throughs of journals, art journals and stuff. They're so pretty. She does um, 100 day projects every year. They're always very cool. She recently did the um, index card a day project, which also gave me heaps of inspiration. Um, I sometimes find myself channeling her art style when I'm working in my intuitive watercolor journal which I don't know whether I've shown you guys yet and I may do at some point in the future if that's something you'd like to see it's something that um, I started doing loosely based originally on um, Carolyn from Freya Fennec tutorial that she did on Art Witch Academy, which doesn't exist any longer, but I was a member of Art Witch Academy for a little while. Um, and she talked about how she does these intuitive um, sort of journal pieces. And I was like, oh my God, I love this idea. And it sort of vibed with me and I gave it a go and I still do it. Um, and then it's also had some influence from Mixie as well. So maybe if you're interested, I will show you a little flip through of that journal. Not that there's a lot in it. It's uh, I, I'm terrible at keeping sketchbooks. I find I'll go mad for it for a week and then I'll stop for like a year and then I'll go back to it for a week. So, <laughs> um, yeah, you know, uh, sticking to projects is not always my forte. So that's the ones from, from Mixie and they're beautiful um, and I've been using them quite a lot and they're just items of preciousness. Now the next one is this pack. I haven't actually used anything out of here yet because I did want to do a flip through of it. As you know, I mentioned her 50,000 times in a year. Um, I love Molly Roberts. I am a Patreon, but I also occasionally purchase things from her shop and she's just recently put together these ephemera packs. Now I sometimes get pieces of ephemera, as you know, from her well, sometimes I get them every month um, because I'm a Patreon. And these are some of the ones from, I think it was last month's um, little snail mail love bomb that she sends and it arrives in my letterbox every month. I love this idea. These little tickets of just permission to do good things and have a good day and be happy and enjoy yourself. And I think I want to do something a bit like that myself. Um, so this pack, I did open it, uh, but I haven't actually used anything. Of course I opened it because, you know, you couldn't just sit there and not. I mean, it's just the, the detail's really nice. little pretty coloured ribbon. There was confetti all through this, which I actually uh, saved and packaged and put into a little jar because I'm actually going to use it in a spell. And it's very, very typical... Um, Molly gorgeousness. This is a little paper clip. And there's lots of bits and pieces that are obviously her artwork that she's scanned into the computer and printed off and then added some embellishing to. Looks like these are actually stickers, which is cool. So cute. Yeah, they're stickers for sure. So you'll definitely see some of these popping up in my Book of Shadows soon. 
little altered playing card. As you know, I like to use playing cards in my journals. Um, oh, so beautiful. I love her art style. I really do. It's not... Uh, it's it's unique. It's uniquely Molly and it's magical and, and I love it. I love that she does a lot with so sewn edges um, and sprinkling with inks. Are these gorgeous? So I expect to see these in some of my books very, very soon. And here's some more of these. I love them. Aren't they wonderful? Oh, so cool. Just the, the level of layering is gorgeous. I love it. It's really thick. Oh, look at this bookmark. <laughs> so pretty. We are never alone when we have the moon, the talking trees, and a, hun a thousand singing birds to keep us company. Uh, I've actually had this similarly before. I've got it stuck into my grimoire. You might have seen it in my grimoire tour, but it was a bit bigger. That's very cool. That's just the backing paper. So that's that little kit. And again, I'll link her channel down below, but I am certain that the way I've banged on about her, you've probably gone to check it out for yourself if you are interested. Gorgeousness. Gorgeousness. Now we come to the one that arrived today, which I am... Oh my God, you guys, I'm so excited about this. Um, this one comes from Megan, from Megan the Moon. And, oh, wow, she has really stuffed this full. She, I, I had trouble ordering this on her website only because um, it wasn't accepting that I was in Australia for some reason. Look at this. She does this beautiful masking tape with alcohol inks. I am definitely going to have to make some of these. Um, they're so pretty. And what a way to transform masking tape. Megan is an art journaler with flair. I, I, she makes a lot of junk journals. She does a lot of art magic. She's, she is a witch, but she's really, really big on her art journaling at the moment. Um, she makes journals and sells them. And she does these art witching packs and she asks you lots of questions about... You know, what colours do you like? What images do you like? What sort of, you know, things do you not like? What what kind of themes you're into? Um, and when I contacted her about this because I was struggling to get it on her, her channel, she said, oh, look, shipping is super expensive to Australia. And I'm like, well, yeah, no kidding. Because um, with shipping, this actually cost me nearly 100 Australian dollars. But she said she would really load it and stuff it. Um, in for me which by the looks of things she really has so thank you Megan you've no idea how excited I am to open this package so we've got a beautiful piece of sari silk ribbon here mm -mm -mm. yummies um, look oh little beads and little glowing stickery star things oh so cool I think they might cut, become some Sort of dangles on a on a junk journal book of shadows perhaps so cute i love i love these i i do these as well myself these cd envelopes that are you know painted and stamped and stuff um and i know that she makes a lot of her own stamps as well um and she's clearly used those in here and there's just a bit of everything there's you know here she is this is her card that's her website, um, and I again I will link her um, channel down below or tag her in this video, and um, you can check out her her stuff because it's cool. But there's oh, this little cute little envelope. 
this is this is a bit of a signature for her these cute little stars i always think they look a little bit like star people um and she's really into spirals which is so cool for me because so am i spirals are a big thing in obviously celtic magic and so therefore in my practice he's gorgeous oh, so cool so cute so I will uh, really enjoy using at least she's cut these out of scrapbooking papers some old book pages Father Zeus and all ye other blessed gods oh that's so cool Greek mythology how cool is that wow that's pretty shiny you know how how much of a magpie i am just give me all the shiny things oh, oh wait cool wait wait cool i'm trying to work out which tarot deck that is i think i've seen this before isn't that beautiful and ace of pentacles awesome awesome definitely can work some abundance magic with that and you know me i love a bit of abundance magic oh so cute and these are definitely some of her hand carved stamps this is so cute i she does does do a lot of eyes and i love a lot of eyes i'm actually doing a little collage book at the moment of eyes so i think i will probably add some of these into them and look the um eye with the flaming heart spiral this is a cute label oh, i just love this upside down miss jane isn't that gorgeous that's a sigil that's way cool awesome oh these are beautiful so cool so that's that little envelope full but there was a lot in that wasn't there goodness me and then we've got this little Oh, wow. Victorian photo frame. How amazing is that? <gasps> so beautiful. I uh, I will do something very special with that. That's, that's really wonderful. This is cute. Oh, the fortune teller. Miracle fish. Oh, my goodness. We had one of these when I was a kid. It's made of... Um, cellophane and you put it on your palm and it tells your fortune according to how it moves let's have a look let's let's make it happen oh curled oh very curly curled over entirely mm, curls up entirely oh i'm passionate apparently oh and we've now got a moving moving head as well jealousy oh yeah well scorpio i can't help it all right <laughs> That is just so cute. I love it. Thank you, Megan. It's just, <laughs> that's bringing me back so many childhood vibes. Um, you've no idea. It's cool. Ah, the sun. Oh, I can see that in a litha spread coming soon. Oh, I'm having so much fun. I'm so inspired. Oh, look. Look at this little cluster she's done. That's so cute. Oh, I love her work. I really do. I really do love her work. This is so cute. This is one of her big tags. And again, here's some of her cool stars. Oh, pretty. Oh, so pretty. Spell bag coming up. Funny about that, actually, because I have... Um, just been thinking lately, I want to work, do a few more spell bags, some charm bags. I, I love a good spell jar. Um, and I've done some spell jars recently that I'm going to be popping up on my Instagram, but I can't do it just yet because I have actually sent one to a friend. Um, but it hasn't arrived there yet. So once it does, I'll pop that up on my Instagram because otherwise she will see it because she follows me on Insta. Oh, spell bags. So cool. Oh, what have we got here? I love this. This is so beautiful. This patchwork envelope. Oh, so gorgeous. 
again. Oh, so much in this kit. I love this kitty rose. So beautiful. I just, I'm just blown away by the the stuff in here. This is so gorgeous. How cute is this? Oh my god, I love it. Oh, look at this fabric. Oh wow. Oh my goodness. This is from her grandmother's garden in Long Island, New York. That is so special. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh, this is lovely. This is the sort of collage um, art journal stuff that she does. This, is, I think, is probably a page from one of her art journals. And, yeah, this is one of her prints too. Oh, it's just, I just, mm, I love her work. It's so joyful and expressive. Oh, yeah. Look at this. This is one of her little journals. Look at this fabric. Oh, my God. And look, the pink, because pink is my favourite colour. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh, God. It's just, everything you open up and there's more inside. It's got little pockets. Oh, coffee filter. These gorgeous hand-dyed papers. Hand-painted papers. Oh, I'm in love. I'm so in love. I'm going to make so much a gorgeous magic with these. Wow. So what's in this one? Seriously, God, I'm probably not even in frame half the time, and I'm sorry if that's the case. I am the worst YouTuber ever. I really am the worst. Um, but you don't come here for high-quality videos. You come here for... I, I can't even give you reasons why you might join me, but uh, you come here for this gorgeousness. That's what you're coming here for. Um, wow. I'm just so excited. Oh, my goodness. Oh, so cute. Oh, look at all the putty tats. Oh, my God. I'm assuming that these are, these are pictures of her own cat. It's adorable, whoever's cat it is. Maybe maybe not, I don't know, but it's gorgeous. Oh, look at this. Oh, look, that's, that's um, sticky tape stuff. Oh, so cute. Oh, she did a really cute video on making your own oracle cards. And I think this is one printed out. Um, super cute. Trust in magic, of course. Of course, trust in magic. That's some more of that tape that, stick, that you wet and stick down. Awesome. Oh, my goodness. It's all happening here. Love the mushrooms. Oh, how cool is this? What a cool idea. I mean, we get this packing stuff in parcels all the time, but painted, doesn't it make an amazing piece of ephemera? Oh, I'm so excited. Coffee filter. Look at the fluoro pink. Because you guys know how much I love pink. This is gorgeous. Look at this spiral. It's shiny and it's pink. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, this is honestly just so cool. Oh, look. This is on vellum. I wonder if she's... Has she painted it directly on the vellum? I think she has. I don't think it's been printed. Wow. So much work has gone into, into this pack, honestly. Um, just incredible. Look at this embossing. So much work, so much effort, and you can literally feel her magic coming off the page. You really can. Ah, oh, look at this. Shiny bits of vellum. Oh, look, pretty. That's so pretty. He's so shiny. Oh, yummy. Oh, yummy. Oh, look at that. Ravens and skulls and mushrooms and flowers. All my favourite things. Ace of Swords. Crowning of the mind. P. 
page or Princess of Swords, Adventure of the Mind. From the tarot book, that's way cool. Choose a word for the day to bring comfort and inspiration right in the center of the moon. Decorate the page further as you desire. Oh, that's cool too. This has come from a cool book. Awesome. Oh, look at the little moon faces. So pretty. So pretty. Honestly, Megan, this is incredible. You're blowing my mind. <gasps> Look. Look at the little leafy. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, so beautiful. <laughs> Raven. Raven. Oh, we've got the book pages. You guys know how much I just die for the book pages. Oh, wonderful. A dragon and a princess. So cool. Oh, dragons. Oh my god, dragons. Dragons, dragons, dragons. Oh look. Oh my god, I'm just so happy. Um you wouldn't think the paper could make someone so excited, but then there's me. Um and it does. Oh, isn't this gorgeous? Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. I did not know that French succubuses rode dragons. Oh, wow. This is some really old ledger paper. Isn't that beautiful? How amazing. Very delicate. I'll have to use that carefully. Oh, lovely. Oh, there we go. Wow. So that was a lot of fun. Oh my god, that was that was just. <laughs> oh god. Uh, I've just got so many ideas. I've got so much to make now. So much magic to create. Um, thank you, Megan. This has been a journey. It really has, um, and I can't wait to start m making things with all these beautiful things you've created. So I hope you enjoyed this impromptu little video. I um, hope it has got you excited to, to get into your books, maybe. Check out these amazing creators. Check out what they've, they've put together. Check out their channels um, and give them a bit of love. And I'll see you in the next video.